Welcome to Brawlhalla! Hello everybody and welcome to another training room tutorial. Today's video is going to be on the hammer and once again I'm your host Raven from Blue Mammoth Games. The hammer is a deceptively slow weapon that actually has a great reach, loads of priority, and some really fast moves on the ground. So much like the other weapon videos, we're going to be going over each attack one at a time, uses, when to use them, when not to use them, and you know some general tips and tricks about the hammer. So let's go ahead and get started with the neutral light. Neutral light is a double kick and when you connect it you'll actually get a third hammer swing for a nice chunk of damage. Now this move does not have a lot of range on it although it does move you move you slightly forward during the attack so if you're just slightly out of range the uh, second kick does move you slightly forward and so long as that second hit connects you will get the hammer swing. Now this move is really good because it comes out very fast and can be used in a lot of different scenarios where you're going to be very close to the opponent. A lot of people do like using this move in conjunction with throws. It's not something that I'm very comfortable with as it's not so much my playstyle, but throwing to interrupt a signature or something or any other attack when you're on the ground and you can pick up your weapon and continue on. You can even go in, throw to interrupt, and then you know move right into this neutral. So just know that neutral is really good if you're right on top of an opponent. Even if you're stacked, it's going to hit... Um, pretty well so just know that if they're in front of you or on top of you that this neutral move will hit and it does a nice chunk of damage you know um 20 27 points of damage is not too much this <laughs> is not bad at all now just remember like everything else i'm shooting this uh training room tutorial guide on version 2.13 so there's always a chance that things are going to get rebalanced and these damage numbers and hitboxes might not be identical but now that that disclaimer is out of the way, let's go ahead and keep going. So let's talk about the side light next. Side light does uh, 20 points of damage, which is really good, and it has quite a bit of forward reach. You can see that it's, it actually hits uh, pretty far out in front of you, almost hitting uh, about three quarters of the distance of this platform, which is pretty solid. Um, this move is really great for stuffing other attacks simply because of the fact that the hitbox is going way out in front of your uh, your character and it's really good at just defending against people who like to rush at you from the front just because this is going to stop a lot of other attacks. It comes out a little bit slower than the neutral but is still really solid for grounded play especially if somebody likes coming at you with uh, a lot of side lights and other things like that. All right, so next up we're going to talk about Downlight. Downlight is the hammer stomp, and it's also the combo starter. And we're going to talk about this a little bit because what you can combo into changes based on the health of your opponent, which is a very common part of the combo system in Brawlhalla. And I just want to make sure that we talk about this. So the stomp, just to talk about uh, the utility of the move, it does hit out in front of you a fair bit. It also hits when you're stacked. And let's see how far back we can go. Is it going to hit here? It does. So it's got a really generous um, generous hitbox range. You know, so long as some part of your character is, is uh, touching the other character, you're going to be able to get um, a hit off of this. Now, depending on the health level, and where they get knocked up is going to depend on the follow-up. So once they get into yellow health and later, you'll see that Asori here is getting knocked higher and higher. And at these later health levels, you can combo into a side air to get, uh, you know, to force them towards the edge or even get a knockout later at later health levels. Um, which is really solid for getting a knockout mid-platform later on. Um, so you can see that that does combo consistently. However, as we get, uh, we'll get a Surrey here back to white health. At the very beginning stages of the game, side air is going to completely miss because they don't get popped up quite enough. So you're going to see, you know, just based on this, that this, uh, this drops right now. But you do have other combo options. From here, you can go into um, neutral. You can go straight into a signature. Uh, usually neutral signature or side signature will connect. You can also go into side light, which is really solid. And you can also pop them up and go straight into a down air uh, if you want to juggle. So this is actually, it's a very versatile uh, combo starter at early health levels. But you can see some of these other options, you know, they, they don't work. <laughs> Um, when they start getting popped up a little bit higher. So you just kind of want to keep an eye on the health level of your enemy and choose your combo starter appropriately. It used to be that stomp in a side air worked all the time, but you know, just in the effort of kind of mixing things up on the combo front, 
uh, we wanted to make sure that you were kind of thinking about the health level of your opponent and what you wanted to do to them accordingly. So just know that, you know, the, the Stomp is a really good combo starter. It comes out pretty good. It's got some generous hitboxes. Um, and you should definitely be incorporating this into your hammer play because it's just, it's a really underrated combo starter and you can do a lot of fun things with it to just kind of keep the pressure going, um, you know, and also to directionally move <laughs> your opponent around. All right, so with all that being said, uh, let's go ahead and look at the air moves. So let's start off with air neutral. Air neutral is pretty interesting uh, because what it does is it hits in this big arc all above you and it's actually really good for picking out people who are doing ground pounds just because it has this angle that reaches out really far in front of you um so once you get somebody into the air it's actually pretty good at juggling as well and you can even get uh, pretty good escalator combos off of this now the back swing is interesting because the back straight swing um the hitboxes do end about halfway through the swing. So you wanna be careful about aiming this because if you're trying to hit them on the backswing, it's very particular about when and where you can't, you can and can't connect that. Um, now while it doesn't combo from the stomp, it is really good for just keeping on that air pressure because people are going to have to dodge through this as it has a huge amount of force. Uh, you can also use it in certain scenarios uh, for people who are on the ground but you really have to get this really low to the ground to land it. So sometimes you can use this as a dodge through punish and other things, but just know that neutral is a really interesting tool um, and it's something that you should be incorporating because, I mean, look at the damage. Compared to uh, side air, which does, uh, you know, 20 points, you're getting like an extra six points of damage there off of these uh, side airs, which is, or neutral airs rather, which is just awesome. All right, so let's talk about side air next. Side air is, you know, one of your most reliable knockout tools, and we're going to go ahead and set... Uh, actually, let's leave a story on the ground for a minute uh, because there's an interesting thing about side air. So if you instant jump side air uh, where you press the jump button and light attack, you know, for a side air at the same time, you're going to hit at jump height, which is really solid because, you know, a lot of times people are coming at you from this height level. However, one of the really useful things on hammer to get used to is to hit at ground height instead. And on, while this is common for most uh, side airs in the game where you want to get used to hitting at ground height, um, the hammer is probably one of the more important weapons to do that with just because of the way that the swing works and the amount of time it takes. And one of the really common tricks that you'll see a lot of hammer players using, or if you know, you're know you new to the weapon, one of the tricks that you should definitely learn is that if you start your side air after a air dodge, a jump height, it will, um, the swing will come out around the time that you hit ground level. And one of the really common tactics for using this is when you jump in at an opponent, you dodge through whatever their anti-air is, cross them up, and then hit them from behind. So this is something that you're going to see a lot of high-level hammer players do just because it protects from any anti-airs, and it's a really solid, very reliable way to approach people, and it's something that you should definitely be um, incorporating if you're going to be playing hammer it's very very easy it doesn't take a lot of time to practice but it's incredibly useful and is really really critical to uh playing the hammer effectively so learning how to do this this dodge cross up side air at ground height thing is really important just hop in the training room and practice because it's an awesome move and it's it's something that continues to work on players um, for a very long time, no matter you know how long they've been playing the game. There's always situations where this is going to be useful, so definitely incorporate this into your uh, into your hammer play. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's just too good. All right, so we talked about neutral, we talked about side. Let's talk about down air. So down air is actually really good at two things. You can use it as an approach tool. Um, you know, if the if the side air has gotten really obvious and people are used to, to this move, um, you know, what you can do is just go in for the side air and, or for the down air instead. It does not that much damage, but the, let's get let's get a Suri off the corner here. But the thing that's really valuable with it is the fact that it pops them up. Perfect position for you to pressure again with neutral airs or, you know, to bait out a, a dodge through that neutral air and then punish them with, uh, with side airs. So... Just the fact that this scoops them up, you know, often <laughs> this move is just referred to as the scoop, um, is really good for just putting the opponent where you want them to go. You know, the hammer is really good at kind of 
forcing your opponent into the air, which is awesome. Um, and this move, you know, the down air even combos after the stop. So if you're somebody who really likes to juggle somebody, um, definitely get used to using the down air. And the other thing that's great about the down air is that it has a huge amount of priority. So if somebody's trying to uppercut you or recovery you or anything like this, uh, the down air will pretty much beat any of those air approaches, which is just absolutely fantastic. So definitely get used to uh, to using this in your game. It's super awesome. And yeah, all right. So with that, let's talk about ground pounds and recoveries. So. We'll talk about the recovery first, and let's set a Surrey here to jump. So the recovery is really interesting because it's kind of the opposite of our uh, of our down air, where it's going to grab the opponent and send them to the ground. It's not in a direct downward line. There's actually um, an angle to it based on see if I can do this based on the direction that your character is facing so if you're facing right it's gonna push them to the right a little bit if you're facing left it's gonna um, wow I'm just missing every one of these if you're facing left it's gonna push them off to the left and what's nice about this because you get this healthy ground bounce at these later levels you can actually go for this mid stage and then follow up with uh, follow up with a side air or down air at later health levels once you get that really healthy ground bounce um, if you're playing on an edge guard, you know, situation, you think somebody's going to be expecting the side air, um, you can also use this as a way to push people back to the edge of the stage. I don't know why I'm so bad at doing this while this area's jumping. All right, here we go. You know, so that's gonna that's gonna toss them down. The great thing about this is that much like the down air, the hammer recovery has a huge amount of priority. So so long as you time it correctly, it's gonna beat just about every ground pound. Um, all the down airs in the game like it it has a ton of priority and while it's not a hundred percent guaranteed you know the the priority on the recovery is really really good and so if you're in these edge guard scenarios where you're down here on the edge and somebody's pressuring you you can get kills at orange pretty easily just by recovering somebody at this height um which is you know super awesome as i miss my recovery all right, so the last move that we're going to talk about is the ground pound. The hammer ground pound has a huge amount of force, nice hitboxes, and is just really good for getting early kills. It will kill people in orange if they are off the edge, and it's just one of those incredibly useful, uh, useful ground pounds. It comes out super, super fast, um, pretty easy to connect, and it's one of the more uh, heavy priority ones, so it is pretty difficult to punish. You know, and you can see right there, like just how much, uh, just how much force that move does have on it. It's really solid. You know, there's not a lot of other options off of the ground pound. If you do hit it mid stage, you can be ready for. Let's do a little bit of damage here, so we can kind of demonstrate what this looks like. Um, so if you hit it mid stage, you know, like other ground pounds, it is going to bounce them off. Um, most ground pounds have a very high recovery time, so while you can't, you know, combo into this directly, it will pop them up, and you can be ready to do a neutral air or or a side error or whatnot to continue the pressure. All right, so that covers it pretty much for all of the moves um, individually, but you know, just know that when you're playing Hammer, the, you can really keep up a lot of pressure based on um, you, the signatures that your legend has, how you want to try and edge guard against people. Um, you can do a lot of good juggling moves. You can really keep all of this pressure going on. Um, you just have to get a little bit more used to the timing of the moves and kind of how they work out of dodges and what those ranges are when you're on the ground, you know, what your combos options are and everything else. And then, you know, just remember that you do have a lot of priority, so don't be afraid to contest moves directly and just go out there, pick your favorite hammer legend and have some fun. Um, yeah, so that's it for this training room tutorial video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have questions, just leave them in the comments below. And I'm going to go ahead on to the next weapon tutorial that will be in this playlist. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you do decide to pick up a Hammer Legend because of this video, do let me know because stuff like that always makes me feel great about the time that we're putting into these videos. And yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching.